Novak Djokovic versus Denis Shapovalov is the second semi-final for the men's event at Wimbledon for 2021. And both players have had different roads to get to the semi-final stage. Shapo came in as the number 10 seed and would take on Cole Schreiber, the veteran, in the first round. And after winning the first set, Shapo found himself in a dogfight, eventually prevailing in 5, 6, 4, 4, 6, 6, 3, 5, 7, 6, 4. His second round matchup was against Anduha, who himself had just come off a five set win. And before the match had started, Anduha pulled the pin, giving Shapovalov a walkover. In the third round, he take on the wild card Andy Murray. And even though we know Murray's not the same player he was a few years ago, mentally, Shapo still had to fight. And after a close first set, Shapo got the job done in three, six, four, six, two, six, two. His fourth round opponent was against the eighth seed, Batista Agu. And even though the third set was close, Shapo still got the job done in three, destroying the Spaniard, six, one, six, three, seven, five. His quarterfinal matchup was against the 25th seed, Karin Hashinov. And after going down two sets to one, Shapo was forced to fight, eventually prevailing five close sets, Six four three six five seven six one six four. The defending champion and world number one Novak Djokovic started his tournament against the wildcard Draper, and after losing the first set, Djokovic would eventually prevail in four four six six one six two six two. His second round opponent was against the veteran Anderson, who he'd had some battles with at Wimbledon in the past, but this time Djokovic got the job done in straight sets six three six three six three. His third round opponent was against the qualifier Kudla, and after getting the job done in the first two sets. The third set was tight, with both players having set points, but Djokovic would get through in three sets, 6-4, 6-3, 7-6. His fourth round opponent was against the number 17 seed, Garen, who's a little bit of a surprise getting into the fourth round, considering he's more of a clay quarter. And this showed as Djokovic demolished the Chilean in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4, 6-2. His quarterfinal opponent was against the unseeded Fucevic, and although Fucevic did have some highlight shots during the match, Djokovic got the job done in straight sets again, 6-3, 6-4, 6 Six, four. These two have played six times before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 6-0 -head with Shapovalov barely getting sets off the world number one. However, the last two times they've played have been at the ATB Cup in Australia and they've both been pretty close matches even though Djokovic does get the win. If Shapo's going to win, he's got to be aggressive from the start. He also has to serve well, limit the double faults, but he has to be aggressive against Djokovic. If you're passive against Djokovic and if you're defensive, he's going to eat you up. So Shapo, he's got to be aggressive. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he just has to keep doing what he's done for the last six times that he's played this guy. He's beaten Chapo six times in a row, barely lost sets off him, so he just has to continue that momentum and keep doing what he's been doing the entire tournament. I'm going to go with Djokovic to win this one in four sets. I just think the experience level between the two is so far apart. Chapo playing his first semi-final. Djokovic has played so many semi-finals in the past, so I'm going to go with Djokovic to win this one, but I do think Chapo is going to put up a bit of a fight, especially in that first couple of sets. I reckon he can get one of those, but I'm going to go with Djokovic in four. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this semi-final?